There's three of them right now. Boom, easy. Oh yeah, I forgot about this guy again. Oi. Yeah, this gun, this uh, this weapon's very good actually. Maybe he dropped grass. A boy can hope. <gasps> he did! Uh, thank you, Mr. F uh, official, I think is your... I don't know what your name is, but... Find enemy past here. I do need to go down. I do remember that. We're gonna run past a lot of the enemies this time, I think. Oh god, I hope my souls aren't in the lava. That would certainly suck a lot. Ugh. We still took so much damage, too, even with the flame resistance ring on. So maybe lava damage and flame damage are treated differently? I genuinely... I, I don't know. I feel pretty certain in saying that in other Souls games... Because I know there's like a whole part in in Dark Souls, where you have to uh, run through lava, and to do it, you just wear a flame resistance ring. So that's why I was like, oh, maybe it's similar in this game. I have, of course, never played Dark Souls 1, but I actually did this the other day where I, uh, I found all the Dark Souls games and I just put them on a wish list that I have for my PlayStation. Because I don't know if, if the wish list works the same way on the PlayStation like it does on the Nintendo Switch, but it like sends you an email when they go on sale. So I'm hoping maybe soon that uh, Dark Souls 1, 2, and 3 will go on like some kind of mega sale and I can buy them all. Because obviously I have Demon Souls playing that now. Um, I own Bloodborne, but also Bloodborne is available through the uh, special uh, PlayStation Plus collection for PS5, so that's fine anyways, so I, ha I have access to that. I don't have the uh, DLC for that one, though, so I uh, added that to the wishlist as well, the DLC. Um, Dark Souls Remastered comes with one DLC. I don't know how many DLCs there were for that game, but it comes with what I imagine is the one. And then the only um, version of Dark Souls 2 that's available to buy is the Scholar of Sin edition, I think it's called. Which I guess is like the special edition, so that comes with all the DLCs. It's like I think it's like a game of a year edition, but that's Scholar of Sin. Um, and I was reading the description for it, because I was like, wait, is this like the DLC, or is this like the actual game? I wasn't sure. And it was like, oh, reworked enemies and spawns and things like that. So it seems like it, it's the original game, but also not. I don't know, it seemed very weird to me. How they were basically explaining what it is and is not at the same time. I don't know. Not that big of a deal to me, but I was just like, wait, am I, so am I not getting, like, the true Dark Souls 2 experience? Which I know, like, for a lot of people, aren't... I'm not gonna say not fans of that game, but they don't love that game a lot of the time. As much as Dark Souls 1 and 3 and Bloodborne, so... I still wanna play it, you know, just, I don't know. I do get slight hyperfixations on video game series sometimes like right now i am kind of hyper fixated on mario and the dark souls games where i'm 100 percenting every mario game that i have access to which is all of them now so all of the 3d mario games is the ones i'm i care about the most so i'm not doing the 2d mario games so like mario 64 mario sunshine uh super mario 3d world i just finished bowser's fury was a part of that and then, um, 
Galaxy, and then Odyssey I need to play again. I don't know why, I just, yeah, super nostalgic for him. Then I want to play all the 3D Zelda games, too. Um, but I don't have access to all those ones, obviously, because Ocarina of Time and Majora's Mask aren't on the Switch. Uh, neither are Wind Waker or Twilight Princess. Those are all games that I have I have played, I just don't have the consoles for them anymore. So, can't really play them. Skyward Sword, though, is coming to Switch, so I'll probably play that, because I didn't play it originally. I played it a little bit, but didn't beat it, so. It's like I played it, but I didn't really play it. Come on, big boy. And I'm interested to play Skyward Sword, because that's another game that a lot of people hate on, I think, for not necessarily a good reason. <clears throat> the best way that I have explained uh, this game is like Skyward Sword is that it's like when you think about do I mean, when you think about Zelda games like they're typically like 9.5 to 10 right like they're perfect near perfect games pretty much every time and then Skyward Sword is not a bad game it is just not a 10 or even a 9.5. It's possibly not even a 9. It might just be like an 8 and a half, which is not bad. Like that's still like some like games with most games would kill for a score like that. You know what I mean? So it's still like a fine game. So I'm excited to play it because I like Zelda. But at the same time, I'm afraid of the motion controls. Actually, I'm not going to lie. I really don't mind the motion controls of the Switch that bad. Like, playing Mario Galaxy, not terrible with the way that it works. Um, in Super Mario 3D World, there are a couple areas where you have to... Where, like, because of the Wii U gamepad, it was touchscreen. But if you're playing... Uh, on the TV, on the Switch, you can just use motion controls, and those are pretty, like, pretty good most of the time. I don't hate it, so. Like, is it my favorite? Not inherently, but, you know, I'm not, I'm not that upset about it. Oh, thank God, it's not in the... Let's pick that up. Is this the way I need to go, too? Brewer stuff. I don't know if this is the way I need to go or if this is just like a little side thing. This honestly looks like a little side thing. Oh, wait. Okay. Let me make sure. Their attack is so funny. It looks like he's just sticking his tongue out. So you have some insane durability. But you don't even have fire resistance. This has better fire resistance. But the armor doesn't, though. So. That's all I meant to do. I meant to go to this. Not what I meant to do. I meant to go to this. And just send it to the storage. I think through just sheer, like this game is not, run. I missed him anyways, but I just wanted that item really bad. I want this one too. Oh, he's sitting on it. Does he poop at me? Darn it. Stupid rock bears. Bear rocks, whatever they are. 
That looks like a that one's smaller, but is also big. Don't stick your tongue out at me. You know that's rude, right? Beware of lizards ahead. Rock beetles. I already forgot what these things are called. Rock bugs. I'm in trouble. Please recommend this message. How does that help you, though? I don't understand. More red hot area. Mombasa? M. This seems like I don't want to drop down there. Is there not like a slope or something? I, don't know, I can't see super well. I don't really want to just drop down. What the? Something just died. Okay. Maybe I'll try to kill one of these rock bear things that I can't remember what they're called now. Um. Is it worth doing, though? I haven't killed the big one yet, so it might be worth it just to say I did it, you know? I don't think I need to kill this one. For some reason I have a feeling that they are uh, resistant to fire, but what do I know? Fire beetles! Alright, Fire Beetle, you win. I have a feeling these guys don't respawn if you kill them. Because that would make the most sense. But when has video games ever done anything that made sense? I keep stabbing him in the butt. Because I want that item, and I want to see if I can go this way. Or if this is like a shortcut, maybe. Are we come down a good bit? Can't turn around, so. That does a bit more damage. I got him 50%. Come on now. Come on now. Just die. Just give up. Just give up. What kind of existence is this? You're stuck in this tunnel all the time. You can't even move. And you don't even really have an attack. You just kind of stick your tongue out of things. Just kind of stick your tongue out of things. Watch these things not even give you, like, any souls. What did I hit in the rock? Oh, he is turning around, actually. Not super successfully, but he's getting there. Alright. One... He 
He's completely sideways now. I I did it. I killed one. Oh! They explode, and they give 1,600 souls, too. Bear bug, that's what they're called. What does bear bug grains do? Can I eat this? Increases fire resistance. A I did all that work for a clear stone chunk, huh? Yes, okay, this was that way, okay. I kind of have a general idea of where I am now. And then this way... Goes where? Is this the way I came from before? That leads to like the drop off. Yes, this is the drop off. Just down there. See, I feel like there's probably a better way. Like, will I die if I drop down there? Probably not. I just don't know that I want to do the drop-off. Whatever, I'm just going to do it. I like to live dangerously. Which is not true at all. I've been thinking too, because pretty soon, the new, the, uh, the Mass Effect Legendary collection comes out. And those are games that um, I actually have played. Mostly, I've played, I have not played the third one. But I beat the first and second ones. Um, so I want to play through them again. That I'm thinking might be a stream thing. Maybe if I start streaming, maybe if anyone wants to watch me stream, I mean, someone would have to, of course, be there to watch, but, uh, I'm not inherently against streaming in any sort of fashion. You sucker. Okay. Um, but I think it'd be interesting because the last time I played those games, I was pretty young. It was before the PS4 came out, like right before, so I mean, it wasn't like that long ago, but it was so long enough that... Are you serious that I make that? Come on now. Um, But when I was playing them, I went through this phase in my life that I'm maybe not fully out of, where I was kind of a psychopath when I played video games, meaning that I would always just play the evil options, bad options, because I thought it was funny. So... I played those games, but I played them as a renegade, so I've never played, like, the Paragon actions. So I think maybe, I, I want to play through those games again. I played Skyrim the same way, where um, I never bought anything, like, the first time I played Skyrim. I uh, just repeatedly stole and killed... Ooh, baby. Okay. Well, now I'm down here. I just repeatedly stole and killed uh, shopkeepers to the point where I think at really not even that far into the game, by the time I had been to every town, um, I had things that I wanted to sell and was incapable of doing so because I had killed every shopkeeper in the game. This also happened when I played Fallout. And so I would get to a point where I had all this stuff, I had no money, and I couldn't buy things. So I couldn't buy um, healing, you know, I couldn't buy food, like there was just nothing I could do. And I would have to restart the game and make a conscious effort not to kill every single shopkeeper. Because I was, I'm a bit of a, a psychopath when I play video games, and I understand that, you know. I understand who I am. I'm not ashamed. I should, probably should be a little bit, but also I got, I got free stuff by the time I had so much gold because I was just stealing stuff and killing people. But, but then I got wise. Then I would kill, I would kill all of them except for one. I I left one alive. It was always the guy in a uh, white run. Um, I don't remember his name started with the B. I'm pretty sure. But I always kept him alive. Every other shopkeeper dead. Just super dead. Look forward to fall. I don't understand really. I 
Why are there not items there? Huh. Okay, well, nothing up here, I guess. Someone got over there? These people are skilled. 